All right, guys, and this concludes part two of Stump Kicks Greg's Ass. Now, um, what we learned from part one was that uh, drilling into a stump and carving out a 12 inch deep hole for a turtle basking area is harder than it sounds. And uh, I got a lot of suggestions on the first part of the video. Um, one of them was actually to buy this tool here. Uh, it's called a Lancelot, and essentially it's a four inch chainsaw blade attachment that goes onto an angle grinder. Um, as you saw in the video though, I wasn't able to get very deep with that. And if we look on the side here, we probably only got like an inch of material out with one pass. And uh, if you see all those black marks, that is uh, indicative of the blade not actually cutting very well. So I don't know if the blade was dull or if I hit like a little chip of metal that was in the stump or uh, if I just need to sharpen this before I even use it for the first time. But uh, I'm gonna have to save this, trying this again uh, for another day. And uh, hopefully if I can sharpen it, hopefully I'll get some uh, better use out of it. But uh, it is a little difficult to use. Um, I only get, you know, like a, a, an inch or so of cutting space uh, at a time. And as you see here, I have to sort of go one path after another path after another path to cut that stuff out. So if it was cutting really well and I was able to just plunge in an inch and go all the way to the center and then continue that process, I probably could remove quite a bit of material with this tool. So I won't pass judgment on it quite yet. Um, but for right now, it wasn't really doing the job that I needed it to do. Um, the other thing that we did try last time was this giant ship auger bit. And uh, that does work fairly well. As you can see, I've got quite a few holes drilled in on this side. The only problem is I'm only able to drill two or three holes that are around a foot deep before this drill starts to really heat up and uh, the performance really drops. Uh, I don't think it's a, a function of the, the tool getting dull. I think it's just the, uh, the, uh, the tool heating up to the point where it's, it's no longer working the way it should. So uh, what I have found is if I let it cool down, I'm able to drill a couple more holes, but uh, this is really, really tough wood. And so uh, the thing that worked the best that we saw in this video was actually the old fashioned chisel. And uh, because I had this uh, center hole already started from the first part of the video, as you saw, I was able to chip and chisel along the edge here and just pull pieces off one at a time. But uh, I think the most effective thing so far is to combine the two methods. If I'm able to drill a bunch of holes and then use the chisel to sort of separate the chunks of wood in the middle, as you can see, that's a pretty good chunk of wood that I'm able to take out uh, every single time. And so I think that's going to be the strategy to continue working on this stump. But as you can see, I've only, I've only cut maybe 5% of what I want to cut out of this stump. So it is going to be a very long labor intensive process. Um, it's something that I'll continue to work on in my free time. Haven't had a whole lot of free time recently. And that's why I haven't gotten very far. But uh, a few other suggestions that people have made. One was to use plunge cuts with a chainsaw. Uh, sounds like a good idea. That would actually be the most efficient way to do this. But I don't want to use uh, a chainsaw because it has uh, chainsaw oil or blade oil, um, which would ruin the wood for use in an aquarium, which is what I'm planning to use this for. Even an electric chainsaw has uh, chain oil. So I don't want to do that. And uh, other people suggested that I should start a fire in the middle of it and let the center hollow itself out. Again, that's something I do not want to do just because I would have charred wood and I don't want that um, entering my aquarium either. So I'm going to do it the old fashioned way or maybe a combination of the old fashioned way and the new way um, until I start to get some results. I've got a few other ideas up my sleeve, but if anyone else has any suggestions 
on uh, tools I should try to uh, make this job a little bit easier, please let me know. But until then, I'll continue on and see how far I get. And I'll update you in part three. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.